Hey guys, it's Chris from Nuke Fridge Gaming, and well, I've got a really cool treat, and I really want to thank Retrobit for uh, setting us up with these. Back in August, they announced they were in a partnership with Sega to release some Sega accessories, peripherals. And well, while they showed it off at CS and we couldn't make it, well, we got them right here. We have the uh, Sega Saturn controllers, the Sega Saturn USB, the Genesis, the Genesis USB. So I've been pretty excited for this, if you guys have seen my posts. And I haven't felt them yet. I actually wanted to just go in fresh. So let's take a look at the box just quick. Sega Saturn controllers aren't cheap. Um, I use one can go for up to 25, maybe 30 bucks, just depending on condition. I've actually never had a box with myself. While I do have a box Sega Saturn, um, I just never had a single controller. We have the regular controller, which is just in black. I love the colors reminiscent of the original controllers uh, just the way the whole thing look the box then we've got the USB this one is a clear black um, they are releasing these in multiple colors we have here the Genesis I love the colors we've got it in light blue for the USB and black for the original I'm gonna open these up give my thoughts on it and well uh, you know have some fun all right so I've got ladies I laid everything out, my second Saturn, my Genesis controllers, and we're going to uh, try them out and compare them. So, let's off the Sega Saturn, just kind of... Very simple, very nice packaging. You see the Sega Saturn logo. Compare that with the original Genesis. Button feels nice. Start button feels a little iffy. Yeah, it's not as smooth as, let's say, the original. But overall, it feels just the exact, almost the exact same. Try out the USB version. More than likely the same exact thing. Since it is, looks to be the exact same mold. Oh yeah, I really like the colors on this one. Actually, I want to say... The start button on this feels a lot better. It feels more like this one compared. You can actually see the colors really nicely. This one, honestly, I think feels a lot better. Hard to say, but just this start button doesn't feel as good as this start button. But I just do like the color, so honestly, I'll probably pick one of these up for a regular Saturn. Now let's take a look at the Genesis. Start with the USB this time. I like the clear blue. Feels nice. Uh, you'll notice that the mode buttons here were before. It used to be right here. Uh, this is just so if you want to switch over between games that require three buttons and six buttons. I don't know if I like it right here. I was kind of fine with it here, but now that it is, we're used to left and right. That's not a big thing. Uh, I don't want to accidentally hit that and turn on mode and off mode button layout feels great though start feels nice I'm just gonna compare it to my regular and you know I do like do prefer this kind of indent style over than the out but I know this is regular for the six button that's just personal preference now we'll go to the regular six button I said it before and I'm just going to say it again. I actually just love this packaging. I might pick up another set just to like, have them. For Saturn, I obviously want different colors. And yeah, this feels... Ooh, actually, I take that back. So they did leave the mode button on the original one up here. I thought they probably kind of switched it out. But again, I just love how they actually use the nice Sega logo. feels great oh man it almost looks like it literally just came out from you know back in the 80s and 90s when these were out just looks so nice so fresh all right now let's take another test let's uh pop it in i'm gonna test these out a little later on just give my final impressions but it goes in smoothly 
bit of issues there. So, take the sound controller. Smooth like a baby's behind. Yeah. You may notice why am I trying this out? This has a uh, a region switch, so I can play imports and domestic games. Plus, I just love the color. Uh, well, let me take these for a spin and uh, tell you my overall thoughts. A little bit after I cleaned up, did all the box openings, and spent a couple hours playing with the controllers, I actually found my original Sega Saturn. You can almost not even tell the difference, to, tell you, to be honest. Uh, I showed off my Japanese one, which has a Sega logo and just different colors, but honestly, it wasn't for, man, I'm just actually noticing, yeah, they almost look the exact same. You wouldn't almost not be able to tell the difference, just aside from this has a Sega logo over here, and this has the Retrobit logo over here, but honestly, I couldn't really tell you which one was which outside of a little issue with a button on the, uh, the retro bit one. Um, both controllers honestly play excellently well. Uh, for me, these are just extremely nice because you don't always find these controllers anymore. Like I said, Sega Saturn ones are expensive, so being able to offer them for about 15 bucks isn't bad, especially for people who love their Sega Saturn. Uh, just there are plenty of these out there but how many are working how many of them are in really good condition um, but these just work perfectly uh, same for the Genesis um, I'd love to see a regular three button down the line but absolutely no complaints this just feels really good as well I have no complaints with the USB versions they play just as well like I said I love the start button on the uh, USB sound controller more but I don't think I'll be using these USB ones too much. They, they play great, don't get me wrong. Like I said, um, if you want that Sega Saturn, Sega feel, these are great options. And like I said, they're not that expensive. Um, but nowadays, there's just some kind of better options. For me, I use my 8-bit Duo and I just suck up my... Xbox One or PS4 controller. This is just for people who want that original feel and absolutely nothing wrong with that. But again, I've got nothing but positive glowing uh, thoughts for the Sega Saturn and Genesis controllers. They are doing a Dreamcast one, which I'm actually a lot more excited for. Well, actually, I think Sega Saturn would be on my uh, top list of what I wanted, and I have it. Thank you, Retrobit again. Um, <coughs> But what they really have that I really want, and hopefully I get my hands on it soon, is the Bluetooth and the wireless controllers for the Genesis, the Saturn, and the Dreamcast. I just, honestly, while I love these things, and you know, I'm just going back and forth because I've got so many controllers right in front of me. As much as I love the wired, just being able to play wirelessly, because my TV is right over there, and just being able to just play from right here will be great. So I'm going to try out the Bluetooth and the wireless and give my thoughts on those. But as of now, these are spectacular. I just give them, just get these if you love Sega Saturn and you know, if you need a new Genesis controller, get them. Um, just completely worth it. So these are set to come out in about a couple of weeks. I think April 15th was the official release date. I think there's some places already taking pre-orders. Some. I know Amazon sold out, um, but they should be restocking more afterwards. As a fan of Sega, these are just absolutely fantastic. I also heard that uh, it took a, a little while because Sega was a little bit picky on them, and actually that's not a problem. I want them to be great, and they are great. After the whole, what, at games fiasco with just how bad those were, you know, Sega did a great job, and I still love Sega to this day. and. This is just something else that adds to that awesomeness. So, you know what? I'm going to add a, a link where you can guys can pre-order these. Hopefully they go back up on Amazon. But get these if you're a Sega fan.